Hey you guys, it's nice to be back. I know I've been a little quiet here on my YouTube channel. I think the last video that I filmed was right at the start of this whole lockdown situation. It's been strange, yeah. It's strange and intense and so much going on and yet not a lot going on because a lot of us have been home. <laughs> so I have Joy with me because she just woke up from her nap. Sleep. Yeah! <laughs> so Joey woke up from her nap, but I was able to film this look for you guys before she woke up, so I'm gonna be walking you through the process of creating this really easy neutral look featuring a bunch of new products I've been loving and using frequently. Um, in terms of what's been happening over here, of course, I'm teaching online, and next week is the final week of the semester, which is crazy. My goal with my students this whole time, yeah, has been to make the process and the transition for them as easy as possible because they are dealing with just as much stress as the rest of us as we watch our world change and opportunities you know, stall or be put on pause. So with that, I feel really grateful to have been able to have regular Zoom lectures with them where I'm seeing them face to face and it's just gratifying to know we're making it through this and oh, okay. Making it through, okay, it's okay, let me help you. <laughs> Making it through the semester successfully in the end of all of this. Also spending so much time with Joey right now, which is a blessing and just watching her grow. She's 21 months now. Yes, you are. She's talking up a storm, running around, and she's like a little girl rather than a baby, though of course I will still call her baby. Yeah, there's a light right there. Jethro is doing well. He's in the room. We'll try to bring him into the shot. Hey, come here. <laughs> yeah, there's Jethro. He's he's plugging along like a good boy. <laughs> yes, he is. Here we are. Yeah. I'm still writing consistently on Beauty Professor and of course posting regularly on Instagram. So I'm happy to be back <laughs> to show you how I created this look. I can't wait to hear what products may have caught your eye so let me know and also i hope you guys are doing well i know like i said this what can be said that has not already been said this world is going through a really tough challenge right now on so many levels and i hope and i pray that we can get through this successfully and soon i know we're moving in the right direction and so i am hopeful and optimistic that this summer is going to bring good changes for us that we can enjoy and be grateful for. Yes. All right, so I'm starting with freshly washed skin. I've been using lately is the Orveda Cleansing Bamboo and Enzymatic Water. It comes with its own cotton pads. They're amazing, really thin, gauzy-like. You get a hundred of them with the cleanser, so I've just been using one a day. And it leaves my skin feeling really balanced and healthy. That's all I've used so far. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply some moisturizer. I'm working with two formulas for my skin today. City Beauty Uplift Firming Serum, which does just what it claims to do. I just use one pump and I apply it all over my skin. There's actually enough in a single pump for my face and my neck. And it adds a really beautiful hydrating firming effect that becomes more pronounced with additional, more consistent usage. Next, for additional radiance, some vitamin C, some hydration, some glow, and a beautiful filter of the face, I'm applying a dropper of the Charlotte's Magic Serum Crystal Elixir from Charlotte Tilbury. I've already worked my way through this much of the bottle, which tells you how much I love this. I purchased it last month when it launched. Okay, so that's what I'm going to use all over my face. I find that it's a very effective skincare element, but it also is a fantastic primer for my skin for the makeup to come. Of course, you guys can see the glow here. Now, for foundation, I, I need to show you this makeup bag, you guys. This is what I've been dealing with, kind of just drawing from over the last few weeks. It's my cushy makeup bag, which already holds a ton of product, and I just keep piling it in there and using it as a station in my bathroom. I don't need to take my makeup anywhere because I'm not really going anywhere. So for now, it's doing a sublime job of holding everything, but I can't wait to put it into usage to actually like pack up, go on a trip, and I know it will hold everything I need. Okay, back to foundation. 
I'm going to be applying the On Naturel Cream to Powder Foundation Stick. Now, I love the brand On Naturel. I've talked about the lip products multiple times over. It's such a gorgeous clean and green brand, but I haven't tried the foundation. I've had a lot of questions about it, so I'm excited to give it a try. My shade match is Mayorka, and it's great for what I would say is NC 25 to 27 skin, medium skin with neutral to olive undertones. Now, it's very lightweight for a cream foundation on a stick. I find like the, the texture is unparalleled in terms of how it offers coverage, but still feels really light on the skin. I'm buffing it in with a dampened beauty blender. And you can see that it imparts immediate medium coverage. You can build it to full. And look how even and pretty it is on the skin. It does dry down to a powder finish. And I think in all my years of using foundation sticks, I've never used a cream to powder version. It stays in place all day. Like there are days where I put this on, I don't look in the mirror at all until like eight hours later. And then I look and I'm like, oh my gosh, my makeup looks flawless. Like I just applied it. For eye cream, I'm using a bit of the Retrove Revitalizing Eye Concentrate. It's been such a go-to for me lately. And I know I'm applying it after foundation. Part of that is because I forgot, but I also have done this before. I've forgotten before. And I find that as long as I apply it before my concealer, you can really just get away with putting it in during this step. It's very glowy, lightweight, hydrating, and I find that it adds a really nice radiance to the skin. So I'm going to capitalize on that post foundation. Bring it through. This is perpetually sold out, you guys. So if you find a bottle of it online, I suggest snapping it up because it's really hard to find these days. I'm gonna pop on some lip liner right now and shake things up a little bit. I'm putting on the Lancome Lay Lip Liner in Natural Mauve, which I've been using a lot of. I used it in an Instagram TV recently and people were like, oh my gosh, it's like the perfect color. And I agree. It's really very close to my normal lip tone which allows me to cheat things out a little bit. It's creamy and it's really long lasting. So I'm gonna leave that there, kinda let it sit, and then I'll follow with some balm shortly. Concealer, I am going to apply a bit of what I just pulled out of this bag. Sometimes it's a haphazard at random. This was the first concealer I found. Obviously it's in heavy rotation if it's in the bag. And it is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer in shade six which is a good match for my skin. I'm going a touch lighter here than my foundation. And sometimes that makes sense when you're dealing with under eye concealer. This is lightweight, crease free, buildable. I'm kind of giving a medium application here. And I find that it does a good job of lasting all day. I don't get any obvious movement throughout the day. So if you're looking for a concealer that kind of fulfills those qualities, plus I love it in a tube like this, for brows today, no surprise, I'll be applying the Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel. I've just picked up a new one. This is in the shade Chestnut. I don't know why, but this is sold out so much online. Maybe quantities are scarce right now, but I was able to order a backup and I have this new tube here as well. My brows love it. Really, there's nothing better. I've used it for so many years now. And though $50 for a tube of brow mascara seems insane, it's the one product I consistently reach for. So it gets complete use from beginning to end until that tube is empty. No waste here. I definitely utilize it. You can see how it just makes the brows so feathery and full without looking obviously made up. I'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes because it's really humid today and so that's the time that I feel like I need to set concealer otherwise I'll skip it. I'm using the Chantecaille powder makeup in the shade Camel and it's great as a powder foundation like all over your face it's good as a touch-up powder it's buildable and certainly as an under eye powder I find it just completely seamless it brightens things up it seals your concealer in but it doesn't get cakey or powdery looking. It's exquisite. Okay, for bronzer, I am going to use two products today just because I can, because I have the time. I'm going to use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Luminous Bronze Light and this Tower 28 Bronzino in West Coast. And you'll see how I like to use them, layer them in tandem. So I'm going to start with the Hourglass powder first, applying it with my Surat Artistic Cheek Brush.
And that's really just to add kind of an initial warmth to the face, some light sculpting, a little bit of contour, but you guys can know I'm not a fan of heavy or obvious contour. It's just more about going around the perimeter to the face, bronzing everything lightly. So it looks really natural. That, that's gonna do it. Now I'm gonna take the Tower 28, which is a cream bronzer. Prettiest color, I have swatches I'll obviously link to on my blog so you can see them in the sun. And then I'm gonna just do this and leave it. Just kidding, no, I'm obviously gonna blend this out. So I'm just using my same beauty blender and really going heavily to blend. You can see it creates this multi-dimensional bronzy glow to this, the cheeks. You could use this just as your one-step bronzer, but I usually like to have a powder first just to increase the wear time of everything. So good. If you want, you can bring some along your temples here. Temples, hairline, a continuity. For eyes, I'm going to use two products. The first is the Rowan eyeshadow single in summer disco now i know there are mixed feelings about this shadow because it is a mixture of like a cream shadow with more pronounced multi-sized particles of gold i think it's so pretty i like the variation in the formula if you're not a fan of kind of shimmery bits that don't have fallout by the way which is why i love it then maybe this isn't for you, but I think it's so interesting and very easy to just, oh my gosh, create like a full eye in a second. So I'm gonna start here, and I just use my fingers because it is a cream product. I feel like it works better when I use the warmth of my fingertips to apply. I'm bringing it nearly up to my brow bone, but not quite. I'm going to apply some of the lighter shades of the gorgeous Viseart Spritz. I'm going to specifically use a combination of these two light tones that are really reflective and shimmery, and I'm putting them to my brow bone here. It's a really interesting multi-dimensional eye created with two products in just like a minute or so. There's a couple of different liners today. So the first is the Victoria Beckham Satin Kajal Liner, always a part of my routine, always on my waterline. Oh my gosh, this glides on. With, I'm like applying no pressure here, no pressure, and it so easily glides on. All right, I had to go grab the eyeliner, but be before I get to the final bit of eyeliner and mascara, I'm going to apply some of this by Terry Bomb de Rose. This is the new summer edition, look how cute that is. And of course, this has been on my lips for years and years. There's nothing quite like it. The smell, the texture, the volumizing, the lasting power. So pretty, you could really just stop right there, but I, of course, I'm gonna add more lip because I can't help myself. But this is a gem. Okay, for liner, I'm using the Clay de Poe Dual Ended Liquid Eyeliner. And I'm using the short tip. So it also has a longer tip that you can see here, but I actually like the short tip for the kind of work I'm going to do right now. And so I'm going to get in there, I'm going to do a modified cat eye, which means I'm gonna to start towards the center of my lid here. And then. There you can see what's going on. Do any of you always start with one eye over another? For me, I always start with my left, probably because I'm right-handed, and so I just move to the left side first. It's always more of a challenge right on right for me. All right, so I just went ahead and finished both eyes. You can see it's just modified because it starts at the center and goes out, and you can actually tail it out a little bit more because you don't have such a heavy line on the entire upper lid. So I like this for kind of a fun, flirty summer vibe that doesn't look if you try too hard, but still, has a little flair. For mascara, I'm going to apply the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes Volume 2. It's a good one for quick lashes. So look, I mean, you already just get nice impact in a few strokes. And then as long as I let it dry, it's not going to budge. Lashes complete. For traditional blush, I'm going to go ahead and use the MAC Glow Play Blush. This is in the shade Grand, which is a lovely peachy pink, and I'm just going to put it on the apples of my cheeks here. 
It imparts some sheer color and a lot of luminosity, which makes your skin just look bouncy and dewy and healthy and lit from within, which is the goal. I'm a highlighter type of person, so even though I've created a pretty decent glow here, I'm going to add some additional highlight, but I'll stick with the powder this time so I don't go over the top. I'm using a lifetime favorite. It's the Tom Ford Reflex Guilt Powder Highlighter Duo, and I'm just going to sweep it across the high points of my cheeks. To help me bridge my nose. The fact that it's got a little, and I just mix the two colors, it's like a gold and a rose gold. The fact that it has a little bit of warm color to it means it's not so obvious on the skin. It just really looks like healthy, vibrant skin rather than highlighter or shimmer. At lips, I'll be applying a different shade of the Sisley Fido Lip Twist than I normally do. This is the shade Baby, it's number two. I wear a lot of 10 sugar but I am branching out and I'm going to wear number two today, which is a little bit deeper medium pink. These lip twists are some of my favorite lipstick options of life. And look at how pretty baby is. It's just a really nice true pink that's not over the top or too bright. I feel like it would complement a spectrum of skin tones it's less milky than sugar and less bright slash white than sugar. So if you found sugar to be either of those things on your skin tone, baby is something you should try. I'm gonna take a little break because Joey just woke up from her nap. But as I was saying, I just played around with a kit from Au Naturale that allows you to use their high pigment powders to mix with a mixing base and create your own bespoke color that you can use for lips or cheeks. So this is my shade, and I created this nude peachy pink, of course, and here it is on the lips. So I'm adding some as an additional gloss on top of my Sisley lip. I'm so happy with how this turned out, you guys. So I'll make sure to link to the kits. I think they're on sale right now, and you can get them in like a pink, a rose, or a peach family of pigment options. So highly recommended. It's a fun way to pass the time and I love what you get at the end. I wore a top today so I could specifically show you guys this in action. This is the By Terry Tea to Tan Face and Body. And I love the fact that once you shake it, you get this combination of matte and shimmer particles and a beautiful wash of tan. You can use it, of course, all over your body and also your face, which I'm going to experiment with later on this week. But all you do is spray it. You can already see it gives a glow. Yeah, that's for your eyelashes. And then you can use the brush. So this is sold in a set right now. I'll link to it. Brush is just kind of distributed onto your skin in a believable fashion. Oh my gosh, instant tan. I'm actually gonna use some on my neck because it's like the no man's land, right? never gets the sun that the rest of your face does or the color so i'm going to bring it through here to keep everything as even as possible hmm, that's a good solution all right you can of course use it on the fronts of your legs your arms and then your face which i like i said i can't wait to experiment with in the coming days so there it is instant tan no sun necessary well done by terry i love this for hair i just it's Freshly washed, I washed it last night and I actually have a hair care story on the blog that shows you the hair care I've been using most frequently. So I will link to that in case you're interested. But I am going to use a bit, <laughs> good job Joey. I am going to use a bit of the, or no, 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 that's perfume, no, no. Okay, do you guys want to see Joey really fast because she's definitely getting into things. Come here, come say hi. Say hi. Hi. Hi, you gonna look up here and say hi? <laughs> Good, all right, stand up and say, I'm Joey. I'm Joey. You're Joey, yes, okay, good. All right, back to your snack, there you go. And as I was saying, I'm going to use the Orbe All Over Oil, this is the Gold Lust version, and just put it through my hair for some shine and manageability. Hands here like this, and then just bring it through like this not really lingering on one section much longer than another. 
and smell is unparalleled. If you know Gold Blast, then you know. And then I'll use my Rain Cry conditioning brush to just work through everything. Bringing it all through for shine and bounce. Yeah, look at that. All right, so here's the hair. Just the tiniest bit of oil makes a huge difference. It makes it look like you spent a lot more time on your hair than you actually did. For fragrance today, I am applying the Parfums de Marly Herod. You guys know I don't speak French. I think I'm saying it properly. I love the Delina fragrance. I've talked about it a lot over the last few months. This is a travel size of the Herod fragrance, which has layers of tobacco, vanilla, sweetness, musk, it's all notes I really enjoy like at all points in the year. So I'm going to just spray a touch. Oh my gosh, you guys. The, the closest fragrance that comes to mind that I could compare it to would be the Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. But this is in some ways warmer, kind of more alluring, sweeter, more comforting. I can't quite put my finger on why it's different, but it's definitely different and yet they share a similar sentiment. So if you're looking for something in that range, this mm -hmm. Parfums de Marley Herod is insane. So And the look is complete. Interruptions and all. So you can see everything is staying on. It's fresh, it's neutral, it's natural, but it's still polished. So this is the goal for all makeup looks that I create, you guys. So if you're looking for that, you know where to come. I hope you enjoyed watching the process and of course listening to the discussion for each product. It's my intent, especially as I wrap this wild, unexpected semester, to continue to create more consistent content on my YouTube channel. You guys have been with me for so long in most cases and you've been so supportive. I really just want to make sure this is a space that continues to update with fresh content. And I welcome your recommendations and your requests for things you'd like to see. And I have a list running here too that I'll be drawing from. Thank you so much for watching. And know that there's consistently new content being updated both on my Instagram, which I'll link below, as well as Beauty Professor, which can be found at beautyprofessor.com. Take care.